The objective within this lesson is to write and interpret numerical expressions and compare expressions using a visual model. What expression shows the total value of these three equal units? Right, 3 times 5. How about if we had and 3 times an unknown amount called A? What would be the expression that shows the sum of these amounts? Right, 3 times A. What will we have then for 3 times the sum of 26 and 4? What would we write? Well, that's now 26 plus 4. And 3 times the sum, then, is 3 times the sum of 26 and 4. So there's the expression that we would have. Notice the parentheses are around 26 plus 4. If we were to evaluate this expression, it would be equal to 3 times 30, which equals 90. So not only did I write the expression, but I also evaluated the expression. So 3 times the sum of 26 and 4, 3 times the sum of 26 and 4. Here's another expression. 5 times the difference of 31 and 25. Our bar model would look like this. Each of them is the difference of 31 and 25. That's 31 minus 25. 5 times that difference. So our parentheses come into play again. If I was to evaluate this expression, 31 minus 25 is 6, and 5 times 6 is 30. Here's another expression, the sum of two twelves and three fours. Writing a bar model out, there's two twelves and three fours. So that's two times twelve plus 3 times 4. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 4 is 12. Adding them together, this evaluates to 36. Okay, it's your turn. The sum of 5 and 7 doubled. Write the expression and evaluate it. Did you write 2 times 5 plus 7? Evaluating it, you should get 24. Compare the screen against your work. Another your turn. Write out the expression. Pause the video while you do your work. If we drew a tape diagram for that, this is what it would look like. And of course we can solve it. Compare against the screen. We can also come up with words for expressions. So here we have the difference of. So we can come up with words. 3 times the difference of. Forty-two and twenty-seven. 
so we had three times that amount. We could have figured out that value as well by showing our work. 42 minus 27 is going to be 15. And 15 tripled is 45. Come up with the words and then also the value of the expression. You might have come up with the word 7 doubled plus 8 doubled. And then when we figure it out, we get 30. In some instances, we're asked to compare expressions. When we're comparing expressions, it helps to be able to evaluate each of those expressions. The expression on the left evaluates to 210. The expression on the right evaluates to 112. So we know that the expression on the left is smaller than the expression on the right. So again, make sure to evaluate each of those sides of the expression. Here I have another expression, 5 times 19, which I can work out. On the other side, I have 5 19s tripled, which means 5 times 19 times 3. 5 times 19 is 95, as I saw from over to my left here. And then 95 times 3 is 285. It's less. So again, the importance is to evaluate, to show your work as you are going through comparison problems.